So. Figure this out. Looks like Bonnie's over here. Okay, now we're back. Let's go check what Bonnie's doing. And the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Let's go. Don't have much time. Whoa. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a-calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Mr. McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. Shots done, need to scare him. No, she 
Jesus. one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. is doing errands or What's on your Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Hmm. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Come on! Come on, boy! I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? If 
father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the East and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Who's that over there? Nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Hmm. Please stay close. Yeah! Idiot! Come on, boy! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those right. damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. Come on, let's hurry. It's a bad idea to split up right now. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The... Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Gee up! Come on! Damn.
You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You... Well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, hmm. hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't <laughs> frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Hmm. Some tension. Jobs in the town paid twice as much. That's good. Let's go see what Seth is up to. Gotta be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child. Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! This is a nice girl you got there. <laughs> Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. 
What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on, let's ride hard to Tumbleweed. Yeah. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that. Let me get rid of that. That's John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. Fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Hmm. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deeks, Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Yeah. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. That was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Come on. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me, but you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spike me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. Oh, yeah. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Oh, God damn it! I ain't no use to you dead! <laughs> you yeah. got burned so hard, you son of a bitch! Here we go. I think. Right? It's a tunnel. I can't wait for you to meet the boy! Come on, boys! Over the bridge! Step bridge. Tumbleweed. Easy there, 
John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marst, yeah. lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. Ah, oh, shut your mouth. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Relaxed. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. Get these ropes off me, boys. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought. You shit it. Shot, bud. This guy didn't die. That's why I don't like using. You're shooting at me. God damn it. Can you guys shoot somebody? Why are they shooting at me? Ah, oh, for the church. Give me a retreat. Where is she, you bastards? Oh, the pricks. Come on. Get out of the way. We're coming! God damn it, Bonnie. Shut up. Come on. Somebody over there. What's that? Who is this? This is over here. God damn it. Alright, come on guys. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? this prick running to? Just walk away! <laughs> Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. Some stuff. This jerk's coming back. What else we get? It's 
Someone might as well have this. Sick. Who else? Killed a few over here. Didn't I? Yeah. A little side quest? Hmm. Did this on accident. <laughs> Mighty impressive, son. Good job. Well, eight bucks. This is the guy I'm looking for. Howdy. There we go. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? <laughs> I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How oh, very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. <laughs> Feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America... <clears throat> That lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? What are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. 
armor plate for the wagon, extra hands, and I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no, the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> Now, sir, do that to reach. This is so such a rush. Set to the destination. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life, Watson and Jetson. Connection with them more like you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Ah, oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You're expecting to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Elaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. Anyway, John, we must talk about the race. Yes, the race. Oh, come on. Time to purge that negativity and start thinking like a winner. You're going to have a whale of a time. They've been holding these chariot races in New Austin for as long as I can remember. And we need the money. Why aren't you racing then? Me? Oh, no. Not my thing at all. You have already proved yourself more than adept at the reins, my dear boy, and under some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity, and the terrain is treacherous. People will do just about anything to win. Men die. It's a marvelous spectator sport. Sounds like fun. And you are my wild card, John. They won't be expecting you. So what's your role in all this? Think of me as your spiritual guy. Do I have to? You are a free man, of course, but I strongly recommend it. Imagine, just today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant-garde business pioneer. No, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, dear boy. I'm definitely feeling motivated to get the hell out of here. Here we are, John. Gap tooth 
reach. Whoa! Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels, the fallen rocks, the homicidal maniacs. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sports, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> we need to be chased. 
Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Not wrong. Three bucks. Really? All that for three bucks. That's so close. here you want map I retire here take map you earn it I'll happily take this off your hands my friend <laughs> all right thanks I doubt you'll be needing this Wizard? Chinese immigrants in the second red dead didn't see many no depends on the year Come on, bud. Let's go. Yo. Let's go meet this Irish man. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. The fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Then let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stage coach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now you'll need more than talk for that bitch. You will wait to get out. Excuse me, miss. Er, uh, Rose? If that useless, whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost. Miss, please. <laughs> if only. You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Hmm. Yeah. No, good. I wonder if I can see if this door is open. Medicine. I need some meds. 
Hm. It's not open. Damn it. No. That's freaking annoying. Whatever. Come on. <laughs> Did not expect the dog to make that sound. Somebody crying. Let's go meet that. Alright, we should go. Hey, Frenchman, I was trying to watch me. Yes, boy, you missed it properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard! You thieving mechanic! You got it all wrong, Welsh! All wrong! It was French, I promise! He said he was going to rip you off! Now he's ripping me off! Here, yeah, keep on talking there, Irish! In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black! Yeah. What's up, boys? <sighs> Fuck off, boy! This don't concern you! When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Hush your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You reckon that fool of Irish is worth dying for? No, no. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, you did have the last laugh, Wes, boy. <laughs> Nicely done, lad. Now come help me up, will you? Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, You're lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. This is turning into a hell of a day. Go! Oh. Damn. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick as thieves ever since, and that's right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who are stealing acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bent slugs who think they're snakes. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Always the same. Okay. So they're gonna attack me right away. How's this gonna work? Welcome here, mister. What the heck? 
Marco. Don't look good. All right. Go. Get, off. get off. Get off. Get off. What the hell was that? Okay, bro. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Find the thing. Search the. This How about we search the device first? Two. What did I kill? Quite a few. Looks like this guy was the first. One, two. Looks like another body over here. Give me your money. Give me your ammo. Oh shit! <laughs> I'ma call you Nancy from now on. Nancy. You're still there? Okay. It's not cool. Didn't even show up on my radar. Yeah. Take that. Oh, I got a double gun shot. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. <laughs> His name was Irish. He was going to tell the truth. I did get a shotgun, so that's cool. Is there anything else here? Where's my horse? Let me kill all these things. Get out, house. What the? Looks like he's up here. Is that my horse? I thought I had a gray one. Take it. Come on. It's mine, little creep. <laughs> huh. There's a wagon. Whoa, whoa. What's this about? Gentle. What's that? Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. Yeah. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary. Who said he had the body? Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you. <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you gonna do with those bodies? I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. 
Let's go! We ain't the only ones with an interest in these here fellers. All right. I know a secluded Golden spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Big, big golem of Red Dead. Keep to the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Yeah. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Get them damn treasure hunters! Try and outrun them, partner! We gonna see them bodies first! Give them up, you thieving bastards! Fast as you can, partner! I'll search these bodies as we go! Oh, we're sitting ducks! Let's go! Work them horses! See? Right. We're one big cat thing. Yeah! This fella had a few bucks on him! About to All done with this one! Oh, you naughty little boy! Oh. Yeah, you little boy! Oh, look here! I found me a few bullets! You gotta burn the map! You're as stiff as a whore! Relax! I just want a little look-see! <sighs> you see my friends? Head left at this turn! There's some bullets on this. Better than a poke in the eye. You ain't got no bullets. You have to shoot everybody you pass. What the hell now? Damnation! Keep going! We're almost there! What the? How did he? Just... We're okay. Keep going. We're okay. Sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. The hell do I want this wagon for? Get away from me! Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. 
I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much you means to me, how special you is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a feller to give up easily, are you? I don't even know where that this horse. Where my gray one at? Yeah. Let's go. I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right this raid. <laughs> Or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and foxes and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Whoa! Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards use to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. Kill that cowboy! You wanna stop doing that? Sorry, bud. But... I gotta... Figure this out. Why the hell can I put him so far away? Yeah. 
was temple did. In the mine. Okay. All right. Man. It's a big boy. Why did he slide it, dude? Annoying prick! Oh shit! There we go. What's up with these miners? Yeah, 
be right there. I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Huh. I mess murder. I just killed a bunch of people. <laughs> He is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked out. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. 
Looks like there's people in there. Damn it. Oh, are you serious? Oh, nice. This is cool. Oops. Right here, bastards are. What did I tell you? Piece of cake! Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. <laughs> Dude's not gonna. <laughs> Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. All right. Massacred a bunch of people. Monday. Hmm. Interesting. Come on. I think I'm gonna do. I think you found this treasure. It's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. <gasps> Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Hmm. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. <laughs> According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Go to the mansion. And I'm guessing it's not. That it's not abandoned. Nothing in there is. Oh! The bastards followed me here! <laughs> I guess. I guess so. <laughs> Did you see these fellas? Come on now! Dubious is that look, I figured they must be with you! I like them better dead! Alright, let's look for this direction. The hell? Little prick. Oh. Okay. Don't leave it's, any uh, lives. It's, uh, uh, let's get rid of the ones behind us first. Get the ones behind us, bud. Don't let them get my treasure, mister. The one over here. Are you gonna shoot somebody? I'm gonna kill you. Good boy. Where is this squad? God damn it. I missed him right in of here. Okay. I'm not sure you do. Blow their damn brains 
Where are they at? I don't see anybody. Damn, nation! Okay, not that side. Come on. I need to put my glasses on. Oh, Sneaky sons of bitches! This ain't oh, good! Goddamn thing. Come on. Where's that? Is. Where are they at? Where are you? Come on, please! I can't take them by myself! Oh my, oh my! Where's this? There's somebody in here, right? Oh, there we are. Thank you. This can't be happening! Alright. Yeah, that be that now, but it is. <laughs> sure. God damn. Ain't no need to die, friend. Where's this? this other one shooting at me from? Kill them all. On the top. Really? Yeah. How am I supposed to see all the way up there? Downstairs or upstairs? <laughs> Do something, mister! They're gonna take my treasure! <laughs> Probably. Just need to relax there, bud. What that meant to be! Okay. I'll bet you all down! What the hell? Is that a guy's head? Or am I tripping? There's a guy so it's I'll shoot him here. Don't leave any alive. Nope. Okay. Don't let him get my treasure, mister. <laughs> Don't let him get my treasure. <laughs> Anybody behind us? No, I don't see anybody. Blow their damn brains out! Who's they? Okay. Are you gonna shoot somebody? Are you serious? Are you gonna shoot somebody? That's the question she asked. Is there anybody in here? Kill them all, mister! Guess it's my job to go upstairs. <laughs> You'll never find it! Guess so. Oh, 
Come on. Why you wanna die? Chill out. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, I see the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. damn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye. <laughs> it's a glass eye. <laughs> Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. And dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Someone might as well have this. Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir. 
I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For you, but sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> he has an annoying character. <laughs> Not creepy though, like Seth. Uh, let's go mingle. Something I'm not great at. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? I have something truly extraordinary to show you today. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, swelling. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get that thing! <laughs> you can let me on, bud. Day, yeah, that was... Let's go, my boy. I think we've outstayed our welcome here. Frickin' don't shoot at me, trick. Good shot! Those are some of us. There's more people. Bitterness. 
Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. He gave me diarrhea. So, like, this top has got diarrhea. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Damn it. My God, there's an army of them. Oh my God. What'd you sell these two? I don't want you dead, dead. You're gonna leave this in a pot. Who else did you piss off? Are we clear? which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> yeah, thanks. We're almost getting this killed. I'm back between 5 and 10 a.m. I want to check this place out, though. What is this place? Nothing here? Just a hideout. Can I? Oh, it's a loop. Hmm. Did you imagine that? Can I post camp here? Kit. Basically, camp. Oh, I can. Go back to Let's go. Our buddy over here. Glasses up. Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more 
subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. Where's my horse? Let's go, buddy. Let's go! You say Red Scaler Park? So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it! I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach. Find you. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I Love give you my word. This will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his way, or bleed heavily, or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. Yeah. My horse is slow. Horse pills work. Use those more often. Looks like this is more about speed.
don't even know. If this is close to the finish line or not. But I should use those horse pills. Right away. I'm find out if I should or not. Oh, that works. Oh, I I'll use those first. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory <laughs> of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunco, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fancy your chances on this angry son of a gun. <laughs> well, come on, that's good. Come here. Come here. You'll be fine. I got you now. It's all right. I like this little mini game. Son, good job. Hey, what? Only five. Rip off. Let's go. This way. What is? It's like swampy? What is this? My house right here.
Tell me they have different guns on there. What the hell is he passing the nuns for? Okay. Up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Oh, blimey. And I've come to tell you. If you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, 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 oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Oh. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. Come on. I know where we can find the, the parts for you. Uh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? Unfortunately, I've got a wife. <laughs> all right, all right. What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? I can't seem to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Broke <laughs> I am, my pretty and fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Dude, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Yo, Frank, on Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Pete's Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office, Hobble Tom's Beller, by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. <laughs> Irish. I was trying to set me up. But... I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Now a remaster. This deserves a remaster. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. made the arrangements, and he oh, shite. Sounds like Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> all right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck 
my end! Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again. <sighs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. All right. Climb the ladders. All right. Well, let's go save this dude. What ladders? This thing? He's not a ladder. Oh, that's a ladder. <laughs> it blends in. It's not my fault. Should I shoot him? Is that what I'm here for? Mm, I guess so. I guess I gotta be that guy. Who the hell are you? Yep. Takes one bullet. I wanna send a bunch just in case. God damn. I don't think I can do that. Mister, I th 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 thought I, w I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Oh, okay. Score the door. Follow me. <laughs> Go again. Winchester up here is sure, sure, sure work them. I'm gonna kill you. Damn. Oh, thank you, y'all. Go on. I guess they'll work. Come on, you little bastard. Who's next? Let's uh, take some dinner. Who's making a fool of a sh shake now? You starting to regret this yet? Let's shoot the hell out of these cowards! Can we get out of here? Get out of here! All of you! Oh, nice. Okay. 
screw that guy first. Nobody puts their hands on oh, shit. Shit. You like to look like feller than ass kicking contest. I'm gonna beat it. for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -take. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half more, you dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, f -f 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking fuck. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you just sent me to help. <laughs> Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. I'm going to be a cop problem. Yep. God damn it. You're going to run out of bullets if you keep on like that. Damn! I knew they wouldn't give up that easy! Shoot those bastards! I'm gonna hit them with a cannon! I'm trying! It's gonna take more than one of you, partner! Jesus, we really ruffled a few feathers back there! They're not giving up, are they? That's for sure. Okay. We're gonna get some fun of us, right? I don't like this there. Be hard beating like a bloody bro. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery oh, west of the coast. Look out, there's one on the bridge of the head. I don't know if I can take this there. Just shoot him right at me. You're a real old bloody killer, Irish. ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. 
impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens' wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. <laughs>